Alrighty guys, we are back here for another day. Let's uh let's assess the damages here. You know, I just realized I knew that I'd never placed that that bit right there. But I never no I never placed that bit right there, but they could totally have just climbed right up right there because I did not place that bit right there. So uh yeah, it's a good thing they, they did not decide to do that, because that would have sucked. Um Heard something. I don't like the sound of it, whatever it was. Alright, got bullets in here now. So I I was I've been thinking a lot about this game since last night when I played last. And I need to tell you guys a couple things um, that I don't think everyone realizes. And I think the major thing I need to talk about is um, the update that is coming eventually here. Um, the next update to the game is supposed to be a huge one. Uh, like, it's supposed to change the game in so many ways. Oh, fuck, I didn't know you could repair these. Oh, shit. Nice. That makes things simpler. Um, I don't know if if I take out the... I took the tops out of that corn. And I don't know if it comes back or what. So am I using... What am I using to repair this with? Wood? I have to pay attention here. So I got 41 wood. Yeah, okay. Alright. Fair enough. Again, I did not know that you could actually repair these. I thought um, only... Only the, the big ones you could repair. So, when the update happens, it's supposed to be such a big update that... I don't... I can't ever hit those. Um, let's just stop hitting things randomly. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be such a big update. Oh, you can pick up the trash ones too, huh? Interesting. I'll just keep repairing them. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be such a big update that it was going to require... Is that a screamer? No. Uh, require that you restart your world. Uh, this world is... So, um, what that means is that this world is probably going to have to go. Like clearance cell. Everything must go. And so, uh... That's, that's the reason why we haven't started a new season of multiplayer, because we're expecting that um, the game is going to require that we start a new world when the game updates. So if if that happens, um, as I as as we understand it, I don't I can't I can't just continue this series on because people are saying, well, I hope you continue it even once the multiplayer starts back up, and that's the problem is that. Um, I think I am going to be forced to start over as well if I want to continue having a single player series. Um, and so I don't know, I just don't know if that's something that um, we should do or not, basically. So I've got a torn. Um, maybe they will give the option for us not to restart. That's I'm kind of hopeful that that's what's going to happen is uh, it's going, there'll be like an option when you play the world or something to for it to be uh, an old version of the game. I don't know. I don't know I don't know what kind of options they're going to give us. But I mean that that leads me to the question whether or not that would be worth doing too. Like let's say let's say I have that option. I can uh, I can keep this world and play in this version of the game. I don't think I'd want to do that. I think I'd want to upgrade, update the game, and play in the new version of the game, right? Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of torn on where I want this to go because I, when I sit around and I think about the series, um, I I'm loving I'm loving the game. Uh, I'm really enjoying what we're doing. I just don't know how to continue on here. <laughs> I don't, because what I want to do is stuff that's going to take a long time. Like, I've been thinking about, you know, I got that concrete book of several, um, it's been a while now, uh, that I've had that. And, uh, 
so I want to go ahead and start building because my my idea is to have like a compound here, right? Not just uh, you know, not just this little house or whatever. I want it to be um, like I wanted to put concrete a concrete wall around the whole thing, um, and so that it would be like multiple layers. Like you'd have to go. Um, First, you have to get past the concrete wall, and then put spikes around that. Um, I've read the wiki some, you know, too. So, I've uh, got some ideas from that. I don't know. I've got all these plans for things I want to do, and it's just like, well, is the world going to... Am I going to lose my world soon? Like, I just don't know, you know? Um, and I've also been thinking about uh, the format for these episodes. Um, so as it is right now, it's one day per episode, and what that ends up meaning is that on the episodes where I, uh, I do a lot of farming, it's only about a 16 minute episode, um, ah! Jesus Christ, so I think that's kind of a problem too, um, it's not really a problem, but I was, I mean, I think the more, the further I, I could progress in the game, the more of that there's going to be where uh, I spend a lot of time gathering resources and cutting a lot of the uh, the content out. I honestly think I might have to go to something where I'm including multiple days in each episode. I don't necessarily want to do that either because I like the format now. Like if you go to episode 7, you know that is day 7. I really do not know if these will... Uh... Probably not. Yeah, because you can pick corn down there. Yeah, I'm just going to pick all of these. And replant. All the corn's grown, or the coffee beans have grown too. Blueberries grow, yep. And the potatoes. Everything grew. What are these? What did I plant here? Is that more potatoes? She was not a uh, spider zombie, she's just a regular zombie. That I missed. <laughs> missed again. Hit her. It's not in the head. That was a throat hit, I'm pretty sure. That was over the head and not hit nothing. There we go. That was a lot of arrows wasted there. Alright, um, so coffee. Here. Um, and I, you know, now that I've been releasing uh, these videos, I've been able to read, you know, the comments from you guys, and I've got quite a few suggestions from you guys as to things to do. Um, so yeah, uh, <sighs> one blueberry gives you one seed, huh? I don't know what the point of these blueberries are, anyways, honestly. Corn kernels here. Corn seeds. They like candy corn, don't they? I guess it's because candy corn looks like real corn. Makes sense. Let's see where to go. So, anyways, all that said, um, I think basically what I want to do today is uh, spend it gathering stuff. I need to gather stone um, for the concrete. I need to gather iron because um, I think I want to make some iron arrowheads for, before we go back to town. Um, but that's really all I'm going to do with the iron that I gather. I'm not going to worry about upgrading all this stuff. I need to get a little bit of wood to replace the stuff that we've lost here around the house and repair this a little bit more. Um, Put some more spikes down. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, the only painkillers almost because I could. So can you just straight up eat this? Oh yeah. Not bad. Shit, I could just live off of that. I guess that's kind of what you guys have been saying. There's been a lot of comments about the cactus. Kind of 
reminds me. Let's go over here really quick. I want to see how many these zombies. Cause this is where the zombies poured in through last night. It's not like any of them died up here. Well, one might have died right here. Yeah, it wasn't like that many died. So every time they've come from this direction right here, I don't know if that'll always be the case. But if it is, it'd make it easy for defenses, right? We could just have shit all the way through here, and they'll just run through here every time and die. Um, at any rate, I'm going to get my shit together and go gather a ton of resources. And, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get our house repaired. Uh, and then let's head back to town uh, and see if we can get some more looting done. So I can start making uh, better better things in general. I mean, we're almost uh, we're almost it's almost done. Um, all right then, I finally gotten around to opening up this safe here. Oh nice, and it has something I can actually use. So I can now make the first aid kit. So the uh, the stuff hasn't respawned. I never noticed this ladder before. Nice. I guess I could just stay here in the night. MTS air conditioner. All oh, those bags, I might have good stuff in them. Uh, oh, an iron reinforced club. It's blue quality. Does it say how much damage it does? Entity damage 5.04. Entity damage 15.53. That's way better. I'll still take it. So I think I could just put um, a single block over uh, the top of that ladder and they can't get up here to me, if I understand correctly. It's our first magnum, anything. Uh, what was that? Steel arrows. I've been uh, been scrapping stuff, guys. <laughs> I did I did read your comments, and I did uh, I have listened to what you have said. Uh, look at that good old can of pasta. Gotta love your good can of pasta. I was about to say, where the hell did that empty can come from? I did not realize until right now that I've been getting cans back every time I do that. Who knew? Well, probably you guys. I didn't know, though. Let's put it that way. I'll probably scrap that. Man, it seems like such a waste. It seems like a good thing, right? But it's not very good. Like, it's damage just isn't good enough. Yeah. Blood force trauma. Yeah. Man, I wish it was slightly better. I'm going to scrap it. Not this pistol barrel, either. Search that, yep. So I was thinking another good place to stay during the night would be the top of that building. Um, since it's uh, the whole building's made out of concrete, they can't even like rip it apart. I don't know if I sat here, if I could kill a bear with enough uh, enough time. The thing is, my house is so close, there's not a good reason for me to actually stay here. Honestly. Please, okay. I'll watch something like maybe that barrel kill one of them. I'm gonna check in here and see if any of these respond. No. I don't think I will do that actually. Jeez, there's a lot of people right here. Um I still got another hour before it gets a day or night. Um so I gathered uh, some stone during the day so we could start making some cement. Uh, I guess I need to head home for the night. Um, I think this. I think I'm gonna have to end up starting to do multiple days per episode because uh, I, I feel like I need so much resource gathering to do. 
Um, there's not there's not a lot of exciting things happening. Um, so I don't think that this episode will be just one day. I think we're going to change it up starting today with today's episode. Uh, to go multiple days. We'll see. We'll see what we end up with. Um, I'm going to gather a couple more trees here and then I'm going to head home for the night. So I just started running home and I realized I've waited too long. There's not enough time for me to get there in time. And now it's night night. Hopefully no zombies see me right now. I made a huge mistake here. There's a ladder on the back of this building too and that's where I'm going to try to get to. Again, hopefully there's no zombies over here that see me. Okay. Um, so we've made it up here. Okay, we got a frame on top of that block. I'm undetected. This guy right here had some shotgun bullets in him. So that was cool. This is the first time we've stayed somewhere other than our house for the night. It's kind of creepy, man. I don't like it. Let's, uh, let's give us some light. For the night. Just so I feel less creeped out, you know? Me and this guy right here. who got his face eaten off. He didn't make it, man. They can see me up here. It's probably best not to find out if they can. Um, well, I'm gonna wait out this night and see what what happens here. It might it might go really badly. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Our first night away from home. It's like we're all grown up. 